Hello lovelies. One of the biggest concerns that people have when they transition to a plant-based lifestyle is that they're concerned about protein. Now I applaud you for feeling concerned about that because when you are making any changes to your diet you do want to make sure that they're nutritionally sound, that you're not going to be missing out on any major components of your nutrition. Now as far as protein is concerned, let me allay your fears. We come from a very um, protein obsessed culture. So there's a lot of um, dieting advice and agenda driven marketing that would have one believe that um, we are in, uh, you know, we need to fear not getting enough protein. Now that is so not the case. Eating too much protein is as harmful as too little. But in our society, uh, you are never going to be deficient in protein. Now, case in point was um, uh, Andrew Spudfit Taylor, who only ate potatoes for a whole year. Now, I am not recommending that, but it was an interesting case study because he got his blood checked every three months by a, a doctor, and at the end of that 12 months, his protein was spot on. In fact, what was really interesting was that he'd lost 50 kilos and that his blood work um, was that of a very fit athlete. So very interesting. So yes, potatoes have protein. Now, protein is made up of you know little amino acids and you might have heard some are essential, which means we need to get them from our diet and some our body can make. Now, once again, you don't have to worry about that. Plant proteins have all of the essential amino acids. They're just in different quantities. And um, the other thing that you may have heard along the way is that you know if you're eating, uh, you're not eating meat, you're not eating animal protein, then you need to combine your plant-based sources. And this is where you would have heard things like you need to be eating peanut paste on bread. No, I don't recommend that. Um, or beans and rice much better alternative, but you don't have to, you don't have to. Um, and it was, it was thought that we needed to eat, you know, these complementary proteins at the same meal um, so that our body was getting all of the amino acids, but we don't. And uh, what happens is that our amino acids go into a pool and your body just takes what it needs when it needs. So I hope that has helped um, with allaying any of your protein fears in moving over to a plant-based lifestyle. I know that for me, after I got breast cancer and I started moving towards um, plant-based and transitioning to that way of life, is that I was concerned about the protein. And you know, the, few, the things that were the last to leave my diet were the, um, the things like you know wild-caught salmon and eggs and all that kind of stuff. But now I am happily 100% plant-based. I've done enough research to know that you will meet all of your needs if you choose to come across and be 100% plant-based, which you don't need to be. Anyway, I hope that helps. If you've got any questions, pop them below and have a great day.